For more interesting videos, subscribe to Tech Simplified TV and hit the bell icon for updates. Hey guys, welcome to the another episode of free and open source VLSI software installation. In today's episode, we are going to install one particular Perl module which is named file colon colon t and uh, as you can see here if this is the url i'll provide this url in the description of this video and uh, you can easily act, uh, come to this particular url and now before uh, saying anything uh, what is this particular Perl module does is if you want to write a log file uh, you can uh, now what is the log file before saying log file the concept is that whenever any vlsi eda tool executes it creates two kind of log one is the general log another is the error log so general log is uh, something that uh, has all the general uh, commands outputs and if you are calling any particular uh, vlsi tool if that exits uh, that throws any kind of message in the screen it is also get captured in the log file so if you uh, so this is the general VLSI tools or software does that but if you want to have this particular feature inside your Perl script this module file colon colon t helps you to do that. Now in today's episode we will see how we can install this in um, Perl to the cpan uh, repository and uh, as we come to this particular page here we can uh, scroll down here you can see the synopsis of this uh, uh, particular module so you can go and you can see the description and all the apis at, at associated with it you can uh, by your own browse and uh, explore all these options today's episode scope is for the installation so i'll uh, go straight to the point and i'll see what are the install instructions so there are two set of uh, kind of here you can use one is the cpan aim another is the cpan shell okay uh, today we will use the cpan shell okay let me open the terminal now so let me open the cpan shell let me check uh, the cpan okay it is there so let me execute cpan okay now the cpan you can see that cpan shell has been opened okay now we have to execute the command so this is install file colon colon t let me copy it from here and i will right away paste it here so this is the command so another point is that i am right now online okay so i am connected to the internet right now so that all the things will happen uh, through the uh, internet for the installation so uh, i have just hit enter and it is proceeding okay let me see what is going on okay okay it is proceeding here okay it's going on okay so it is asking for the sudo password or the root password I have to provide it So I have provided the password to the keyboard and you can see that the installation has been done and here you can see uh, it's okay saying okay so this uh, module has been installed okay let me go through the entire log just for a scrutiny if there is something message for us okay so let me uh, check 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 and uh, i think everything is okay result goes fast okay okay fine okay okay so it, here it is saying installing t.pm and installing file colon colon t okay so it has installed the world module so guys uh, we hit the end of this episode and thanks for watching keep watching this channel and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.